Hello and welcome to this month's Did You Know Communication. Um, I'm Chris Sherwood, one of the product managers at Sims, and we're going to have a look at Options 5.7 and specifically some of the new functionality that we've just added to this. This is the Options uh, Student Choices screen, and as we can see, all the students have got their choices, uh, their five choices. Also, if we go to the block details, the blocks have been set up, so this score have five option blocks. I'm now going to go to the new screen that we added in 5.7, which is the Solution Editor screen. And what this does, it brings together the student choices, the classes, which we don't have any yet, and the blocks. So these are those five blocks. At the bottom of the screen, on the left-hand side, we have details of a class, and on the right-hand side, details of the student. So here we're looking at Mohammed because he's highlighted there and we can see his choices. So the first task is to click the first button which creates classes based on the student's choices. So there they all are. So move those across. So those are the required classes. We now click the next button which is allocate the classes to the blocks based on the student choices. And it's done that. Now, what it doesn't do is place your double awards onto the block. And this is partly because there's usually reasons why double awards have to fit in at certain positions. So we allow you to do that manually. Let's do the next one. This takes a few minutes. We just skip forward there a few moments just to uh, speed the video up. So I'm just moving the last double science block now across to block C and D. Okay, so every class is in a block now. So if we go back to the buttons at the top, we'll now allocate the students into those classes. And we can see straight away we have some classes that uh, are overfilled, these two science groups here, that science group there. We have some other classes that are perhaps underfilled, the ones showing in purple. So we might choose, to, for example, not to offer this. You wouldn't offer a business studies group to two students, so we might remove that. So let's deal with the, these two science groups here. We need an extra science group there. So if we do a right-click, clone that class, manually allocate it to blocks C and D. So now we have an empty science group there. And the easiest way is to take everybody out of the class, out of their classes, and place everybody back in again. And that's sorted those science groups out now. Similarly with the geography class, I may choose to run with a class of 31, or I could offer another class in that block and have a, a group of 15 and 16. I'll just show you how we'd remove a class. So that business studies group there, just click on it and remove. So that class is gone now. And then we, again, we could remove students and reallocate them. And there's a good chance that they'll be able to do business studies somewhere else on the block. I'd need to do some more work here, but we can see already, just on the first few clicks, we've got most children have got four out of five choices. Some children have got five out of five. I've now highlighted the French group in block E with only four students. And we can see their names on the bottom left hand panel in class details and what I do now is probably spend some time deciding what to do with those four students suggest that they took French in the other blocks we can see the other French lessons highlighted it's available in blocks A, B and C and we'd have a discussion with them and that would allow us to then remove that lesson really what I've done is just a quick overview of what the buttons do and some of the functionality but as you can see we've got a very strong tool here that lets us actually allocate students, move blocks, move classes, and get the perfect solution for your school.